Hi, this is Joe from PowerOfAttorneyForm.com, and today we're going to talk about the four main New Mexico Power of Attorney Forms. Now, if you don't know what Power of Attorney is, it's simply a legal document that allows somebody else to act for you for any financial or medical decision making. So, to get started, we're going to be with the most popular Power of Attorney form in the USA, which is the Durable Power of Attorney form. And this is the New Mexico Durable Power of Attorney form which allows somebody to act on your behalf for all financial powers legal in the state of New Mexico. But what makes this so popular is that the form, this is the only form, financial form that stays valid if the principal should become incapacitated or told by a licensed medical physician that they can no longer make decisions with a clear mind. So what this means is, uh, so you use this form to select somebody to have all financial power, uh, decision-making power for you, but it's the only form that stays valid. If something should happen to you, like you get, uh, I know very popular with our, this form is very popular with our elderly because of dementia or Alzheimer's, where you're just not able to make the, do those same financial obligations that you, as you used to. So that person that you select can still act for you for all these different things. Next one, New Mexico Medical Power of Attorney form. Now this is, sounds exactly how it is. It allows you to uh, choose somebody to act for you for all your health care uh, decisions, whether it be uh, medical treatment decisions, medical facilities, or the right to end medical treatment. Uh, but that has to be specifically instructed. Uh, so, so no one can do this unless you give them the, not only the permission to do it, but you also have to be in a permanent vegetative state with no uh, foreseeable cure. But what we often see is that a lot of people will download the durable so that someone can handle all their financial obligations and someone will also download uh, the medical as well so that they get both ends covered. Going to the right, we have the New Mexico General Power of Attorney form. Now the general is just like the durable except for one thing. The, it becomes void if the principal cannot think for themselves anymore. So we often see this with uh, attorneys and accountants where people will give them power to their financials, but if something should happen to them, they don't exactly want that person to still have that power. One more to the right, we got the New Mexico Limited Power of Attorney form. I use this form every year with my accountant. I just want him to handle my taxes and nothing else. This form allows you to select somebody to handle very specific financial powers. Whether it be you want someone to just pick up a car for you or you're going to be out of town, you want someone to get your mail uh, at your P.O. box or sign for certified mail. Whatever it may be, you just want that person to just do one or a couple of tasks. Uh, the limited power of attorney form uh, is great for that. So that's a synopsis of the New Mexico Power of Attorney forms. Remember that if you download one of these, they all need to be notarized. And if you don't know uh, how to get something notarized, just go to your nearest branch bank. They always have a notary on, uh, on staff. And if you have an account at the bank, most oftentimes they'll do it for free. If you don't, I know Bank of America charges somewhere between 8 and $10 and they can help you out in getting that notarized. But that's it. That's the New Mexico Power of Attorney Forms.